It's part six of our conversation with John Anderson. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. What was your takeaway from Union? I mean, I know a lot of some even band members didn't like that album, but what was your takeaway with, with that experience with the big Yes band? Yeah, well, the two things. The, I was already so excited with ABWH until they wanted to produce it themselves. You know, I produced ABWH. I knew exactly what I wanted. I spent a day with each guy, two days with Steve, one day with Bill, one day with uh, Rick and got cassettes. Went to a studio south of Paris with some musicians who could play as good as, not better, but as good as these people, these guys in the band. And I just did my thing, which is, this is how you play it. This is how it'll go. This is what it is. Here's a couple of songs from Steve. Would you modify them there? And I shared publishing with everybody. Here's a song with, that I'm working with Rick's music here. And we had the best time. We had so much time, good time together. These guys were just so wonderful. And uh, then that was a demo of the album ABWH. And uh, so then we went to um, Montserrat. George Martin had a studio there, this beautiful island. And we recorded basically... They just played themselves, but better recordings. We had Tony Levin on bass. Steve wouldn't go because he, he didn't like the Caribbean. I said, okay. So we, we recorded that album like that. And then we toured on, on the strength of that. We were good. We were a good band. And uh, we got to the end of the tour and we talked about doing another album, but they wanted to be in the studio together. So I said, okay, um, let's rent a studio in South of France. And, oh yeah, what a great idea. But only Rick turned up because the other guys decided they didn't want to do that. So there was this sort of like, okay, somebody's got to, the, got to sort this out, you know. So we tried to do some recording in another studio that I knew in South of France. And I brought a friend of mine in to try and help and it, it just wouldn't work. Uh, there's something about working with good musicians without a, um, a map, <laughs> a musical map. Yeah. You know, you can jam all day long, but you're not going anywhere, you know. You gotta have a musical des design, you know. And so we tried, uh, went to Paris, tried to do some over, and it just wasn't working. Then we got a call from uh, uh, somebody that Chris and the band in LA were not getting it together. Should we all get together? And managers started talking, record companies started talking. And I said, okay, I was, by then I was just tired of trying to make something work that wouldn't work and uh, just right. followed it along. But the joy of getting together was the stage show in the round. It was like being back in a great, yes, you know, and Everybody, you know, Steve was over here, Trevor was over there, Rick and Tony Kay, and two drummers. Man, I was in the middle having the blast, you know. I, I had the best, best time, you know. And uh, just, just in passing, this, this was what was happening on stage, that we'd be playing, you know, our third gig, sound check, you know, that uh, Steve comes over and says, John, yeah, yeah, could you tell Trevor to turn down? I said, what? It's time to turn down. I don't know. Uh, so I went over and there was Trevor looking at me. He said, what's happening? I said, not much. I couldn't, I couldn't tell him to turn down, you know? Uh, you know, because I, you know, I'd, I'd worked with Trevor in the 80s and it was like being his spinal tap. And that's, I always say this because I saw Spinal Tap just before we did our first gig, 90125. I saw Spinal Tap and from that moment onwards, I was laughing my way through a tour around the world because everything was so Spinal Tap. It was, music was great, the show was great, but behind the scenes, yeah. it was total chaos. Someone had asked uh, how many dirty jokes did Rick Wakeman tell you when you were on air or W? He, he kept saying the same ones. He, 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 he would forget that he told you the joke two days earlier. 
and they're terrible. But the best one is people who live in Dubai, they never watch the Flintstones. But people who live in Abu Dhabi do. <laughs> Yeah. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Mm -hmm.